with uh, from Death Like Reviews. Uh, new video up. This is the uh, second part in my CD collection. I got a bit bigger of a stack here. I'm trying to break the five minute video uh, time limit. Hopefully that happens tonight. Um, update on my uh, unboxing videos. That probably won't be happening this week. That will for sure be happening next week. I can promise that. Um, one th in the, oh, in the background, we're listening to Utter Hell by Inferno. This is a great Norwegian thrash band. I'll link everything in the description as usual. This is an original promo copy from 96. Uh, Found on Discogs uh, at Redstream for like $1. This was awesome score. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're really going to be listening to in the background. Um, hopefully that's not too loud, and hopefully I'm not too loud. Um, like I said, I got a nice stack of CDs here. The majority of these I got from uh, my buddy Lonnie Sewell over at, uh, oops, I didn't say you were listening, Lonnie, sorry about that, uh, over at Classy Lonnie Metal. I'll link him again in the description below because he's such an awesome YouTuber. Uh, let's just jump into this. Uh, here's Pig Destroyer with Head Cage. This came out last year on Relapse. I had the dropsies tonight pretty cool artwork. This is the uh, weirdest package like a vinyl. This is a book. Um, plain CD. A picture of a skull on it. That's pretty cool actually. This, a lot of people uh, were, didn't really like this album. I kind of liked it. It's not, it's not book burner. Nothing will ever be book burner. But this album, I thought was really cool. I like. I want to see what Pig Destroyer does next after this. Uh, again, yeah, great album. Sorry. Um, next up is Exodus with uh, the Atrocity Exhibition Exhibit A. This album uh, I picked up at my grandparents' record store for like five bucks from some old guy who didn't know what he was selling. Uh, slipcase edition. It comes uh, two artworks. I like. I like that artwork better. It's less disturbing than that. Okay, boring, kind of gray. Um, this is Exodus is probably my favorite thrash band. Uh, Gary Holt really shines on uh, his uh, riffing in this. Uh, he doesn't get to do that so much in Slayer. Listen to that riff. That is awesome, dude. Again, it, it's. We were listening to Utter Hell by Inferno. I really recommend this. Um, next up, we got a good stack of things that came from uh, Lonnie. Uh, first up is the Dillinger Escape Plan with uh, Under the Running Board. This is not the hard to find one, unfortunately. I wish it was, but it's still good. Um, I really don't know how to describe the Dillinger Escape Plan. You'll just have to listen for yourself. They. They're very interesting to say the least. This is a very, very good demo. Uh, it does repeat. So the first, uh, there's three tracks that the studio recorded, and the rest is a uh, live. And it's really good. You can hardly tell when it switches uh, from studio to live. This is really, really good. Again, I don't know what to call the Dillinger Escape Plan. You'll just have to listen for yourself. Um, yeah. Next up is a. Uh, the Dying Light uh, with the Killing Plan. This is uh, this was released on Willowtip Records. Uh, this is really good thrash. I guess it's thrash. Um, hopefully CD doesn't fall out. This case is kind of broke. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'll put a new tray in there. I'll just take this out. Really cool artwork on this. Oops, crap. Sorry. Really cool artwork on that CD there. Again, this is really cool. Thrash, uh, that, that artwork over there is really neat. I don't know if you can see that too well. That's really cool. Again, I got this from uh, Classy Metal, along with this next one. Uh, this is Lurid Memory with, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Dematerialized. This, I guess, is also considered thrash. I think this is more death metal. This was released on a funeral noise in. I didn't even say on there. I have to look that up, or you guys can let me know. Uh, but this is again. I 
people consider them thrash. I really think they're more of a melodic death metal. There's not um, too much in the way of vocals on this album. I really, really dig it though. Uh, again, this is I highly recommend this. Um, yeah, Liver Beverly. Next up, this is a Stone Cold uh, classic in uh, metal. This is a uh, Creator Pleasure to Kill. Yes, that is signed. I picked this up over at Vintage Vinyl, which is a local record store here. Uh, for like four bucks, they got in a shipment of CDs last year from some doctor that had passed away, and he donated all of his stuff and his will to this record store. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there. I got more to show from that. But yeah, this is a great, great fresh album. Oh, people consider this the one album the creator had in their black metal phase. I don't think it's black metal at all. If you think it is, you're weird. Uh, this is really great. Again, it is it is signed. If either if anyone can make out either of the signatures, please let me know. I'm sh I think one of them's Mila. I'm not sure, though. Uh, we're getting down to our last couple of items. Oh, would you look at that? I did break my five-minute streak. Uh, another classic, Nile, with Annihilation of the Wicked. This album is awesome. If you like fast abrasive death metal uh that nile as many of you know is a uh, part of that southern de uh death metal scene they uh, their lyrics are uh highly influenced by crap can't think his name but they do a lot of stuff with uh his name nile egyptian mythology uh the favorite track on this album is either sacrifice unto sebek or uh Cast Down a Heretic. This album is so good. You have to check this out if you haven't, but if you haven't, something's wrong with you. Uh, the last album here is, I got to the Metalhead box. This is Blatant Disarray with Everyone Dies Alone. This is really, really good thrash metal with an, and I'm not knocking the band on this, with a Trivium style vocal. Um, this was released on Dive Bomb Records in 2010. Sorry about that glare. This is really, really good, like I said before. Um, I haven't listened to it enough to give you a full review on it. Again, sorry about that glare. Jeez. Um, th again, this, from what I have listened, this is really good thrash metal. It's fun. Uh, I highly recommend everything that I showed tonight. Um, yeah, we'll have some more, un we'll have some unboxing stuff out later this week. Um, Again, if you haven't, if this isn't ingrained in your head enough, we are listening to Inferno with Utter Hell. This is great Norwegian thrash. Um, I'll have some, I'll have another video out next week. I don't know when exactly. I'd like to think Thursday would be a regular upload time, but as I'm new to this, I, that could all change because I do have, uh, I play golf for my school, and that will be starting up at the end of next month, so that'll change everything for a good three months. Um, until then, see you later. I'm Nick. Have fun.